got exposed to DJ culture. You know, and, uh, we used to have in Philly, where I'm from, uh, we used to have a lot of block parties, which is basically uh, somebody taking some milk crates and a, a board and putting some turntables on top of it and setting stacks of speakers up as high as two stories and just playing music on a random hot summer afternoon and we would just all go out and congregate around there somewhere around the time where skating rinks were popular too, you know, the 80s. And I was fascinated by the sound of breaks, beats, and scratching, you know, Run DMC and I was getting into it at that point. And I wanted, that, that's when I really started to figure out there was a difference between writing songs or, or making records and being a DJ, being an MC, or starting to sort all that stuff out then. And I got exposed to a couple mixtapes. They didn't call them mixtapes back then, we just called them tapes from Grandmaster Cass and <clears throat> Grandmaster Cass and um, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five and all those, the actual tapes, not the records, but the tapes of the groups doing parties in New York. And, you know, at that time, Philly wasn't big on MCs, we were big on DJs, so we were all about the scrap, the cutting and scratching and all the tricks. We weren't even thinking about what Melly Mel was saying, that didn't even matter. We were just like, man, Grand was a Theodore, he had no handcuffs, I wonder what that looked like, oh man. So, you know, it was this big DJ culture, so throughout my high school years, me and the rest of the DJs just kind of went back and forth battling with each other. DJ Jazzy Jeff was uh, someone who jumped out of a bunch, but he kind of took bits and pieces from the whole Philly movement and uh, you know launched his career. And then when he and Will hooked up, all of a sudden the street culture disappeared and everyone wanted to be on MTV. Eventually, Jazzy Jeff and I partnered up uh, because while he was on tour, uh, you know, developing his superstar st uh, status, celebrity status, I was still working and grinding and practicing how to be a producer, a programmer, uh, engineer. And we started this company called the Touch of Jazz, where it was basically my function to kind of come in and assist him with the production and development of the producers and songwriters. and. Uh, I also was learning to be an executive, like we were taking meetings. At that time, Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince was such a big entity that we you know, could basically call the President of the United States and get a meeting. So I was you know, 18, 19 years old, in the midst of all this stuff, taking up all this information. Um, and through a touch of jazz, starting to develop my own style as a writer and producer, um, getting into the Philly music scene, Simultaneously became close to Ken Gamble from Philly International fame who took me under his wing and started to teach me the importance of writing songs and uh, brought me in to, to open up the Philly International world for me to study what it was like. This is what it was like for the OJ, this is what it was like for Teddy P. Uh, to go into the vaults and examine the tapes and meet a lot of the writers, which most of them are still alive and hear the stories talk to Huff, become close to Huff, and uh, you know, I really got fed the importance of making music that had a purpose. So sweet is the feeling you give to me when you're around. I wasn't intending on being an artist, but what was happening is as I was starting to demo songs for people, uh, the singers would try to sound like me. Like, I, I would have like a kind of a shy day esque kind of thing and that's really how I sound. A lot of people like to compare me to the shy day seal, uh, sting kind of sound vocally. One of the things that I found beautiful about being your own artist or being an artist, especially if you're already a producer and you know how to make music, is you don't have to really ask anyone or, or ask for guidance from anywhere. You just do it. You just create it and you let your, your internal instinct come out on paper when you're writing or on the microphone when you're singing and, and musically you can just push the envelope wherever you want to go. Yeah. 